everyone and happy Saturday. My name is Callie and this is another weekend of clarinets, cats, and coffee. In today's video I am going to give you an articulation etude. It's really short. It's in the key of F major and it's from the Lazarus method book. And I'm just going to give you guys a few tips on making your articulation sound clean and clear and crisp. Before we do that I would like to thank my patrons for supporting my channel. Um, we've gotten a few new patrons in the past uh, few weeks and I really deeply appreciate your support. So if you like my educational videos and you want to see them continue, please consider becoming a patron. I've included a link below. You can also support my channel by any of the affiliate links down below. And also I have a link to the Tomplay app, which if you use my link, you get a two week free trial of their entire database. And it's a super fun app where you get to play along with backing tracks that are recorded by real musicians. And it's the one where you like follow along the music and you listen to the recording and everything. You could speed it up if you want, you could slow it down if you want. It's really a great application. Um, but that's another way you could support my channel is by by checking out the Tom Play app and making purchases through my link. All right, articulation. I just have a few little tips to share with you guys that will hopefully make your life a little bit easier when you are working on articulation. So the first and most important thing, and this is true for anything we play, is to make sure we're taking in a deep breath. So make sure you're breathing in all the way down to your belly and don't try to hold back your air because that doesn't really make sense, right? So when you take a nice big deep breath of air, just let it out. And if you allow the weight of your body to blow the air against the resistance of the reed and mouthpiece, you should be able to play in a very relaxed way without having to clench or push or constrict the airflow, okay? So you gotta make sure you're breathing correctly onto articulation. Now, I think a lot of us, when we're very young, we learn articulation like D or da or T or ta or do or do or whatever, a very hard syllable. And if we stick to that kind of mindset, then our articulation is going to sound very hard and harsh and pointy, just like that. You know, if you well, I don't have a read on right now, but uh, if you actually T or D or da onto the read, it's going to sound like that. Your tongue is going to get heavy and just kind of... It's as if you're trying to go for a brisk walk, yet you're trying to stomp your feet at the same time. It doesn't make any sense. So what I recommend is focus more on releasing the reed, releasing the sound, allowing the reed to vibrate. So we're focusing more on what happens after we tongue the reed. And imagine touching the reed with the pressure of a feather, just the lightest touch possible, still using your nice big relaxed air, exhaling in a very natural way. You'll get a nice light articulation sound. So if you're sitting there in rehearsal and your band director is yelling at you to say, lighten up your articulation, that is what they're talking about. Now, the next thing is to make sure you're using the right part of the tongue and touching the correct part of the reed when you're making contact. Okay, now I am going to have to put a reed on. If we're not careful, our commitment to high tongue position can actually cause us to inadvertently mid tongue or anchor tongue. And if you couple that with playing with the incorrect horn angle, then your articulation will sound a little bit what I call foofy or fluffy or fuzzy. And again, not very clear. So uh, a common mistake is to play with the clarinet further out and to look with the head down playing with a more 90 degree angle, so the reed is just pointing straight back. So if we do that, then we end up poking the very tip part of the reed and the mouthpiece, and we end up just kind of like plugging things up like this, okay? So I'd like you guys to try this. So try angling the instrument in, bring your chin up more like this. So then 
everything is pointing up more toward your, I don't know, your nose, your sinus cavities, up toward the, the what's it called, hard palate of your mouth. And then that actually gives your reed a very clear point to be articulated against, right? And so then you can aim your tongue close to the tip of the reed using the front taste bud of your tongue. If you're, if you're feeling more than just a little touch of the tongue, then you're probably articulating too hard and you're using too much pressure, right? <laughs> If my reed is pointed down and kind of going down, I have to mid tongue, which means like it's kind of like, you know, a little further back on the tongue or even anchor tongue, eh, like even further back in the tongue. So keep the articulation in the front of the mouth and aim for the very top part of the reed. <laughs> tips a try let me know what you guys think and again imagine uh, light articulation is like trying to go for a br brisk walk and having you know the right shoes on and and uh, and you're not actively stomping on the ground but you're just you're walking briskly or for those of us who run my running is very terrible but uh, <laughs> for those of us who run it's more of a light step right rather than clomping down so hard so that's what I like to imagine when it comes to articulation like this so give it a try and I'd love to hear you guys post this on the Facebook group it's a really short excerpt I don't care if you do it really fast I don't care if you do it slow it's a very supportive group I love hearing what you guys are working on so please get this i'm going to include a link below this link will go to my blog and you can just download a, the, the excerpt uh for free anybody can get it so i'll just i'll just put it there and you guys can check it out but thank you all so much for watching i hope you have a good weekend a good week next week and as always happy practicing <laughs>